So I got the Logic Games, um, well, all the cheat sheets um, that you had posted on Logic Games, Logical Reasoning, and um, the Reading Comp. And I also got the Vocab Made Easy. Um, I had used like a bunch of books, so if I'm going to be completely honest. And so it was a lot of information to take in. And um, part of it was sometimes it didn't really explain how to address the question. So for logic games, I kind of learned by, you know, by every all the material that you provided. Um, but for logical reasoning, I feel like I'm really stuck. And I kind of don't know how to differentiate like some of the questions or how to like a plan of attack for them. And so it becomes kind of difficult that I end up just stopping and like, I don't end up, I'm like, okay, I can't do this. It's not, you know, so it'll be good for a couple. And then it gets, as it gets harder through the practice, you know, sessions that I'm, that I do, um, I see that I just, you know, flunk completely. Um, and I think it's just because I don't have a good foundation. I think that I've used too much material and I've jumped around from book to book and, you know, random online websites that the foundation just isn't there. So I get confused when attacking logical reasoning. Um, logic games, I'm good. I think I just, it's like about practice at this point and kind of getting adjusted on what to do. So I also joined because I wanted something to keep me accountable to make sure that I'm doing it. Cause like I said, I get frustrated and then I'm like, okay, let me just take a break today. And then, you know, that obviously does not help. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Sure. I hear what you're saying and I'm glad to help. I'm glad that you've got the support now. We've got multiple live classes happening every single week. We're covering logical reasoning every single week along with the others, but I want to focus with you on logical reasoning since it sounds like that's where you're feeling a little bit stuck. Yeah. And so the course will give you a strong foundation in logical reasoning from the beginning. We have full length live classes covering each specific type of logical reasoning question, mm -hmm. and then video lessons covering the general approach as well. And so I'd encourage you dive in, start going yeah. through those previous classes, and then come to the live ones each week as well. And you can always join the live ones wherever you're at. Okay. And one thing we do a lot is focus on that review process, the Socratic review method you may have heard me talk about elsewhere on YouTube and such. We do it live in class. Okay. Awesome. And so for like, let's say, um, yeah, like, let's say I have the foundation, like, well, I guess I would need to know the foundation. I've already started watching some of the orientation videos because I signed up yesterday. So I think I'm like halfway through. So the rest, I haven't really looked through the rest of it. So those are where the videos start, I'm assuming. And then I can just join the live classes as they go. Like I've already seen some of the schedule of how it is. So then that'll just be free to go in at that time. And then if I can't make it, it'll be um, recorded for later on, right? Yeah, exactly. So I'd encourage you, since you said you're feeling like you're lacking the foundation, yeah. watch the foundational material covering logical reasoning, and okay. then you can watch all the previous workshops as well. There's dozens of them. I have five okay. on flaws alone, yeah. and you don't need to watch all five, but do whatever right. you feel makes sense. Go at your own pace, go awesome. through whatever you like, and then every week with logical reasoning, we're covering a different question type or taking a different approach. And so that's a great place to join, ask questions, connect with other students as well. And as you said, anything you miss, will be recorded, will be uploaded to the course as well. So you can catch it later. Okay. I also have the, I'm planning on taking it in April. Um, and um, I mean, I'm still, you know, that's what I wanted to do. But uh, I know that I, I had the two month plan, but I got that a while back just because I wanted to, you know, like I said, get an accountability thing, kind of check it off. Like I did day one, day two. So what do you suggest I do as far as starting practicing that like logic games I'm I'm confident you know I, I kind of like fail at one at most maybe two you know on my good you know like bad day um so now you know it's like really starting for logic reasoning but I guess I don't want to lose I've never really had a I guess a sense of direction or really a plan so how would I go about that like without losing losing you know the logic games and kind of getting adjusted in timing and all of that how do you think I should do that Sure. Yeah. Mix in some games, mix in some games. There's no reason to make any one week exclusively about one question type. So you can make logical reasoning a focus, but yeah. still devote maybe 10, 20% of your time on logic games as well to stay fresh on those. And you could mix that in however you like. You could have a games day or 
if you're just feeling like you're hitting a wall and logical reasoning, you want to change it up without going to Netflix, like do some logic game stuff instead, do a right. game or two, then wherever you're at, get back into it. And you could also touch logical uh, reading comprehension as well. It's right. never too early to take a little bit of a look at it, watch mm-hmm. one of the videos, maybe do, do a practice passage and then go back to your focus. Okay. Awesome. So as far as, well, I guess we're in February, March, April. Yeah, I guess it would, I would stick to the two month plan. I guess just adjust however I fit, you know, I feel needed to do reading comp or logic games additional to the logic reasoning, I'm assuming. Right. Just Yeah. It's all, all the practice is good. The schedule mm-hmm. gives you some ideas, but you can right. always feel free to adapt and move things around. And you can also ask questions in class about that too. Okay, awesome. And so yeah, so that was about also the lives. So obviously, I'd be like doing some of the practice afterwards. So during the lives, when we go over whatever it is, um, that's a chance to be able to ask questions and kind of like with the group or what, um, or whatnot, and just ask, oh, like this one was kind of weird or a specific question, like, for example, flaw, and then address that there. And then that'll kind of like answer the question kind of thing. Email me, and mm-hmm. I can add to the agenda for an upcoming class. But okay. we spend we'll spend a long time on one question. Like I like to, sp- I don't, I don't aim to get through as many as possible. I'd rather take one reading comp passage or one game and spend an entire hour just on that. Or for logical yeah. reasoning, I've spent an entire hour on one logical reasoning question, believe it or not, but I might <laughs> occasionally do two, but I'm yeah. going at them from all different angles. And so it takes okay. a lot of time to go in depth. And so if you have a question, please mm-hmm. submit it and I'll devote an entire class to just that question. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, just because like I said, I've had, you know, jumping and flopping from different, you know, like, academies or whatever. And sometimes it'll be just, oh, skip that question, because it's a hard one. But it's never, never, you know, (laughs) it it just doesn't make sense to skip it. You know, there's always a reason behind it. So that's great. Okay, awesome. Thank you. That really like helps. And I'm like, very like, I feel very calm now. Because before it was like, I was just kind of running wild. So definitely, I think this will help um a lot yeah and like these help so much because re- like i said reading the textbooks i'll get i got barons i got a bunch of stuff that was just <laughs> not helpful at all yeah I can, I can imagine there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff out there that could be better could be better i'll, I'll leave it at that <laughs> but yeah no I'm, I'm glad you found me I'm, I'm glad to have you on board and i'm excited to have you in class it sounds like you're really dedicated to the process Yeah, I think it's like I said, it was a struggle for so long trying to see some it was kind of like, you know, just invest in it. You know, it was obviously if I keep giving up if I can't get something it's like just invest in it and I've loved all the material the articles I read them. I think I've read probably that's why I'm I think I'm so good at logic games now, because I read it so much that it's just it's engraved and you know it was through all the hard work. So I know I can do it for logical reasoning. I think, you know, I was terrified of logic games. I did it. Now I'm terrified of logical reasoning. So kind of want to get it over with kind of like, I'm loving it. So let's, let's keep going. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad you've got the momentum going. Um, yeah, I just got back from work. So I'm going to do some of the questions and then log on. And I guess I'll see you tonight. Fantastic. Yeah, I'll see you tonight, Camila. Okay. Glad we awesome. connected. I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Of course. Bye. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.